Broski basically allowed people to to make some videos because I didn't want to steal the idea. This the idea is so cool. But when he said, "If you want, you want to make your own video," I'm gonna I'm gonna basically tag Broski. Yeah, imagine imagine throwing some capybaras over here. What do we have here in Chile? I have some pumas. I can use pumas. Pumas are grapplers. Lee was recovering. This is still kind of strange. Let me let me find the replay because this is mad strange. What we can see here. This is the issue. Yeah, she's she's recovering here. She hit up for a second. I think this was this was not on purpose. But what I feel it happened, this guy escaped the situation by jump canceling. Because you really can jump cancel. This is something that just happened by mistake. And she's smashing the super really. This this player is mashing. The mashing helped Petro. If he did the super level 3 earlier, like running before he connected to Lily, probably he would have grabbed her. How to fix this game? Only two fixes. Only two per character and only two per system. I think the drive system currently has a lot of issues. Something Broski already mentioned is getting punished counter when you drive rush. So I'm not gonna consider that. I'm gonna I'm gonna think as that was already implemented, that I do feel that is something very important. I do feel a raw drive rush should be more ex expensive. One drive is way too low for a raw drive rush. In my opinion, that's, that's just me. And some people might think that would break the game and would break some combos, but I don't think increasing the drive requirement for a raw drive rush is that much of a deal. 1.5, I think it's fa fair. I think it's way too high to be minus 8. They went too hard with that. The, the only universal defensive mechanic to be minus 8, that's crazy. I think that's very important for Sanji at the moment. And both lariats. They should increase the hitbox enough for you to hit three lights into lariat. If they keep the lariat as is in terms of anti air, but they increase the horizontal range, I'd be happy. I absolutely agree, Super Lover 2. I think 15 frames is enough for Super Level 2. You would catch lights with uh, 15 frames and everything. It would be like a bless for Sanji. In my opinion, Luke needs lower damage and some of his hurt boxes need to be need to be extended. But by far, by far, two crouching medium punch should be slower. It, that move currently is six frames. Let's say seven frames or eight frames. I think the damage is the obvious one. I'm not gonna put it here because I think a lot of people know the character needs to be lowered in terms of damage. So I'm thinking about other things. If if Luke wants to anti-air, he needs to commit to Shuriken. He should not have more anti-airs. And that applies to every single character in this game. If they had a really good if they have a really good anti-air, like a Shuriken, they don't need like a button to anti-air. And we're gonna get to Guile, that guy is nuts. Jamie's a strange character. I feel he's so close to being a top tier. Without adding new mechanics to the game, because I feel he could be a really cool character where you have to spend your drinks to do something. But I don't think they want to do that. Let's say, for example, you want a poem without using EX. You might need to spend two bars of uh, or, or two drinks to get one out of the... without using dry, basically. And that would be really cool with the character. Like, you have to drink, constantly be drinking, so you could have more moves without using drive. That'd be pretty cool. But I don't think that fits this game. Oh yeah, he needs changes to dive kick. I know we hate the dive kicks in this game. They're really strong, but Jamie's is so bad. Jamie's dive kick, he needs a little bit of buffing over there. Oh, you know what? That's, that's way better. 
Currently, his DP is so bad. His DP is really, really freaking bad. Now, in case of Manon, she has way too many DPs or anti-air moves. I feel he's, she's covered in that regard. I think this character is just basically very boring. Yeah, standing medium punch needs to be look, minus three. I do agree she needs some frame data changes. But in range a jab, her jab is actually pretty good. I don't think she needs any changes to her jabs. Her medium punch is way too annoying. Manon on Wi-Fi, they're so common. I think she needs a better dry brush. I know Broski said something about her dry brush, but I agree, she needs a better dry brush. Broski, I'm gonna steal your takes. But in reality, what I feel about this character is uh, she's pretty much all right. I know that's gonna hurt some Manon players who are gonna complain like, Manon needs better buffs. What are you talking about? She needs a better anti-air. She needs super level 2 to hit from, I don't know other side of the screen. I'm gonna say it, super level 1 should not be a low. Super level 1 should be a mid. It makes no sense that move is a low. She's mostly alright. The problem is uh, her design is so freakingly obnoxious and boring. Okay, you want to hear something that is kind of hot take? But I feel 90% of the newcomers in Street Fighter 6 suck in terms of design. Like, and you have almost every single one, with the exception of JP because he feels cool, and maybe Aki. But Lily, Marisa, in fact the big three, Lily, Marisa, and Manon are so boring. Those are the worst designed characters I've seen in my life. Play, I played as a freaking Daytona car. I know what's a bad character. Crouching Heavy Punch was nerfed too hard. That is true, but he deserves that. Okay, let me tell, let me tell you something. I feel, this is just me, they should bring Crouching Heavy Punch as it was before but they need to absolutely destroy that button. I don't. I really don't mind about crouching heavy punch, but forward heavy kick that that button needs to go. Take that button away from the game. Make it make it so JP stays there with his leg open, spread like an eagle, for like thirty thousand frames. I don't mind about the other ones, but those two things need to go. Those two buttons really really make the. The fight against JP and not necessarily using Sangif, using every single character in the freaking game, is very difficult to freaking do something against JP with those two things. Those two need to go. I'm thinking about this. In fact, nerf the run attacks in general. They're way too strong in this game. She has a plus one and an overhead. So she either is safe or she's plus. It's why? And I know the thing is slow and you can perfect parry, but she can stop and grab you. So it's way too... The, the, the whole interaction with the run when you're waking up is horrible. But I don't think she should carry her buff to the next round. Sounds crazy, but I don't feel that buff should be carried between rounds. I'm not gonna write it. I think that is way too harsh on Kimberly. I don't think that that should be a thing in this game. Where the other characters need to work for the freaking thing. She just does a combo and ends up with a buff for the rest of the fight. You have the freaking Jamie trying to do everything possible to freaking drink. Manon has to hit you like five times to get to the final medal level. But Kimberly, she just goes for a combo. She has another one, which is forward HK. Here, forward heavy kick. She can jump back, cross you up, or neutral jump. In fact, I, I, I feel Kimberly players complain a lot about the character, but I don't feel Kimberly is that bad. I don't think she needs her damage reduced, but I do feel level 3, no Oki. Ah, she needs better than tears. They're not bad at the moment, but they're really situational. Lily, delete from the game. Other fighting game developers should look at Lily and see how a character should not be done. Lily is literally the worst designed character I've seen in the la in the past 15 years of fighting games. She needs to be reworked from, scra from scratch. There's nothing you can give her without breaking the mold of the character. Because if you give her, for example, a proper DP, she's broken. If you give her, if you reduce the hurt box of a standing medium punch, she's broken. But to the other side, she's no longer usable in any matchup. If you speed up the windstock charge, you break the character. 
because then she would have Oki all the time. It's such a mess of a character. I'm not even joking when I say she needs to be deleted from the game and re-added as a proper character. If they take away Lily, let's say they do something crazy. Let's say they take away the character and they say, you know what? We kind of screwed up with Lily. We're going to bring her back in the next season. We're totally reworked. I think everyone would be happy. What's up with Jiri? Currently, it's way too strong in a game like this. I think with those two things, she would be a more reasonable character. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm gonna put it because, yeah. Absolutely, and they also need, you know what they need to do? Sway, not a lot of people talk about this, but Sway overhead, even OD, minus on block. It's way too strong that that a DJ can mix you up with a low that is safe, a high that is safe. The overhead should be at least minus six. Kami, fix her damn dive kick. Currently, Kami Kami dive kick is really bad in terms of, of her box, but she moves so fast and is so difficult to punish. She can really, really, really mess you up. And this is not only for Sangif. Every single character has issues punishing that freaking dive kick. How's that? What do you guys think? 2MK, reduce hitbox, and the dive kick needs to be rebalanced. It's fine. <laughs> I have an issue with his overhead, but apart from that, I don't know. He's mostly fine. It's lucky because he got a buff in the previous patch. So I, I don't think there's anything I would change the real. He's... He's alright. Honda! Delete from the game. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to be reworked. He needs way more than I can think of. Increase the... No, wait. Air blankable? The one that comes down? Not plus. <clears throat> Zero on block. That thing is way too strong. How about that? Nerf the hurt box of crouching medium kick. And I'm gonna steal Broski. Standing medium kick should no, not be AA. Because being able to anti-air people with standing medium kick is just fucked up. That doesn't make any sense. All Jinrai kicks need some changes. From pushback to minus frames, they need some changes. He's allowed to combo from the Jinrai kicks into super level 3 and that's, that's just crazy. So at least... He, he should take a risk every time he goes for Jira kicks. Button is just ungodly. 4 6 MP needs to be 8 or 9 frames. That needs to change. Currently it's 7 frames. And I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I do feel her anti-air game is way too simple and way too easy to use. She needs to rely on down-down kicks rather than using any other thing she has. Maybe air throw, but currently it's, it's just crazy. Like, why would you give her that? I think it's back standing heavy kick. anti -airs. Crouching light punch should not be cancelable. You know how weird it is for a light, crouching light punch to be cancelable from that far? That makes absolutely no sense with this character. Be cancelable into super. They also need to rework the drills. It's way too strong for a Dalsim player to jump back into a drill. And it's so easy to set up. And it's really hard to punish. You have to react immediately with an anti-air. Rashid is difficult because I feel he's mostly fine. He has some things that don't make sense. The eagle spike, the regular one, you have to drive rush in order to punish. I know this is going to sound crazy. People really feel anything about Rashid. He feels really balanced in this game. I guess it's fine. Aki. I think that's mostly it. I already fixed the crouching light punch. So she only needs a better anti air. Like a sunny heavy kick, maybe a better anti air or the, the whip. They need to nerf the range of uh, 5 HP or increase the hurt box. One of those two things. And the rest is fine. That's it. There we go. The hurt box needs. Needs even more to be even more pushed forward. Yeah, I think I'm happy. I'm happy with these changes. Buff the spinning mixer? Nah. <laughs> nah. 